today I'm just going to be testing some mirror image car care products. I'm be testing the Hydrate Detailer, the SiO2 glass cleaner which has got a silicon dioxide in this so it gives it a ceramic finish or almost like a ceramic finish. I was going to test the Prestige shampoo as well but as it's typical British weather again today as in pissing it down we won't be testing that but I'll test that on another video and I also got a little kit one of their microfiber cloths. So I'm going to start with the hydrate detailer I bought the um, mystery box online and I got the detailer glass cleaner, the shampoo, cloth and an air freshener for £20 plus delivery so they are very reasonably priced products so what there's I think I'll open the cloth first to see what these are like nice and soft quite thick actually yeah very soft no label which is what we like nice soft stitching on the edges stop scratching all right so we'll give this a go give it a quick detail so yeah, like I say the car's not very uh, dirty again just needs a bit of a top up it smells really nice yeah it goes on nice Moving in a little bits of dust. So I do keep it under cover this car, but it still does get a little bit of uh, dust and uh, things on it. I'd say typical English weather, so we can't exactly uh, do any water testing on it. Not that I take this car out in the rain anyway, I can help it. So enhance the gloss a little bit. Just see if I can uh, show you a close up on the other side. Old smears here. So I wanted to see if I can get rid of that. Off a bit of a flip. Nice dry side to it. We'll buff it off. Leaves a nice gloss slick finish. No residue. Yeah, very nice. Impressed with that. A bit left there. smears. I think it's because the cloth's quite wet. I think I'll get another cloth just to buff it off. A nice dry cloth. I'm just using a thicker microfiber cloth as a buffing off cloth just to give it a bit of a final buff and final wipe. Yeah it's got rid of all the smears now. Better. Yeah so I think on with one cloth, wipe it around and then give it a final buff with a nice clean soft microfiber. So I think I'll go around the rest of the car with this. Give me some of the dirt off it. And then we'll have a look at the glass cleaner. Okay again, so I'll go in with one cloth, this one. I'll keep that for the glass cleaner. I have got some work to do on this roof line actually because I've got a few little uh, solvent pops to actually get rid of so I'll be really flattening and polishing that in the next couple of weeks so I've got some spider dirt here get them from the uh, roof up there it fetches them off yeah, easy fetches them off really nice So I'm really impressed with this uh, detail, it's pretty good. Leaves a really nice slick finish and removes any uh, light dust and marks and insect dirt. But I think I'm going to try it on the actual engine base. I've got quite a little bit of dust in there because it's not been used for a while. So as you can see there's quite a little bit of dust on the uh, cam cover etc. So I'm just going to give it a 
this brown to the cloth because this is aluminium so it doesn't need a proper metal polish so I'll get onto that after I've got the dust off I think I really should uh, get some of the damp out as well nice Yeah, just need some uh, some silicon gel on the hoses, etc. Some aluminium polish. And there, it's actually moving all the dirt nicely. So keep it as clean and as nice as possible. Black brings any dust. So I think I'll uh, have a quick cup of tea. Cheers. We'll have a look at the glass cleaner. So this is the glass cleaner. It's the SiO2. It's silicon dioxide in it, so it acts like a almost like a ceramic coating on the glass. I won't be able to test that really until uh, for a couple of weeks or so. See how dirty it gets after this. See if it actually. Stops the dirt from sticking to uh, the glass. Again, smells really nice. So we've got that sort of area of the actual product down. There's no actual harsh chemical smells. Goes on nice. Quick buff up. Yeah, really easy to use. No smears, as I can see. Only scratch marks from the old glass, and unfortunately, because it is 35 year old glass. Look at the inside. Should really drop the window so I could get the top bit of the actual glass, but just for demonstration purposes. We'll go from where we are. The glass actually removed move the residue, I think. Pretty good. Yeah. Smear it again now. Yeah, you definitely have to use a dry cloth, I think, to remove it. There's any instructions on the actual bottle? Shake well, spray on design, designated area, wipe in, buff off, store at room temperature. Avoid contact with eyes and skin. Flirtation occurs. Wash thoroughly and immediately with cold water. If symptoms persist or if swallowed, seek med immediate. Medical attention. Well, it's not something you want to drink, is it? It smells nice, but I don't think I want to drink it. Pretty good. Let's try the windscreen. The uh, windscreen's pretty smeary and dirty. A lot of it's on the inside as well, so we'll see how clear we can get this. Put that up. Yeah, I'm just going to get a dry cloth to actually uh, remove the residue. Right, and do the other side. This is the original windscreen, so I've been really lucky with it. Just a few little uh, stone chips. On original glass. Yeah, it's got marks and scrapes on it and battle scars, but adds to the character of it, I think. Yeah, a lot of smears and dirt on the inside, so I think we'll do the inside next and then we'll uh, see what the clarity is like. Going on the dashboard, but I'll clean that off afterwards. Try and work around the camera, which is not the easiest thing in the world. Look, it's up behind the mirror. A little bit of wax there. So I'm going to fetch that off. Yeah, it's come off. So if it's got this um, ceramic style product in this, I might try it on the uh, Celica because that's the daily driver. And see if it helps with the uh, or misting up in the uh, in the back, etc. Because uh, the hatch always seems to mist, especially on cold mornings. So this might actually act like almost like a, a Rain-X or anti-mist. Might not, but we'll see. Give it a try. 
do that on another day when we clean the uh, sleeker. There we are, all polished up. I think they look really nice, nice and clear. I like clear glass in the old cars anyway. This is a really sort of nice old classic look. Yeah, really impressed with that glass cleaner. We'll see how it holds up with the uh, SiO2 in it as well. Hydrate detail is only 8.95 for 500 milliliters, which is pretty much dirt cheap for you know the quality of product. And the SiO2 glass cleaner is only 9.95. It says here some of the information. It has a rain repellent technology, which is what I thought, which is similar to a ceramic coating, giving help in the uh, rain repel, almost like a Rain-X. So we'll uh, give that a go, but not that I'd take the Nissan out in the rain, but like I say, I'll probably use it on the Celica at some point. See what it's like on that, because that's the more of the daily driver. Glass looks really nice and clean, car looks really nice and clean. Next step is an MOT, and uh, hopefully it gets to some shows this year. Yeah, so great products for a really good price. I'm um, really pleased with how they brought the glass up. So if you found this video interesting, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content, because I will be... Uh, fixing the central locking once and for all. I've got the part I needed now, so that'll be coming up in another video. Like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.